Uh, greetings, Gen Chem people. Uh, in the preceding video introducing these online video demonstrations, I pointed out four of the revolutionary ideas that were revealed by this new quantum mechanical theory in the early part of the 20th century. And those four revolutionary ideas that we talked about in that little video were one, uh, the Planck equation, that the energy, the energy is quantized. Uh, two, um, Einstein's equation that says energy, that light is a wave particle phenomenon and that the energy of these light particles, literally photons, particles of light, is equal to h nu. And then de Broglie's equation that showed that not only is light a wave particle kind of phenomenon, but all matter is as well, because his equation shows that anything that has mass and is moving, mass is m, v is velocity, h is Planck's constant, will have a wavelength. And therefore, matter is both particle and wave, bizarre kinds of things. But the subject of our demonstrations in these videos is this fourth idea uh, that was revealed by quantum mechanics in the early part of the 20th century. And that is that the energy of atoms is quantized. That atoms can only exist in very specific energy states, very specific discrete energy states. And atomic line spectra are demonstrations of that um, energy quantization of atoms. <laughs> As we're showing here. So we're going to be doing some demonstrations showing uh, atomic uh, line spectra. And it turns out that when you excite atoms uh, you, energetically, you kick them up into higher energy states, they're going to relax back down. And as they relax back down to lower energy states, they'll shed that excess energy as light. But not just any and all wavelengths of light, but only very specific colors, very specific wavelengths, very specific discrete single wavelength lines of light. So you don't see a range or a band of different colors of light. You see distinct lines uh, in the spectra uh, that are in, of the light spectra emitted by atoms. And that's what we're going to see in this demonstration. So let me pause the recording here and we'll set it up. All right, here we go. Uh, what I have here are three bottles and each of these bottles are alcohol solutions, but each alcohol solution contains a different kind of metal atom. For example, this solution contains copper nitrate. So we have copper atoms floating around in this alcoholic solution. This one contains uh, strontium, strontium chloride, and this one contains sodium chloride. So each of these contain different kinds of metal atoms in an alcoholic solution. Now, when I squirt that alcoholic solution into this Bunsen burner flame, the alcohol is going to combust. It's an exothermic reaction. That heat energy is going to be absorbed by the atoms. They're going to get into, be kicked into higher energy states. And as they relax back down, they're going to shed that excess energy, give it up as photons, particles of light. And not just any color, or any wavelength of light, but very specific, discrete energies of light that are characteristic of their particular atom. So let's do that. Let's start with strontium here. So we have strontium atoms that we're going to excite in this flame. And you see the, hopefully, you can see a bright red flame there as those atoms emit not just any wavelength of light, but a wavelength of light that produces this distinct red color. Now here's copper, copper atoms, and we're going to excite them with the heat of the light. And now we have a very green colored, or very specific wavelength of light that is green. And sodium, sodium chloride and it creates orange photons. So each metal, each atom in the periodic table has its own unique set of allowed energy states. And as the electrons bounce back and forth amongst those allowed energy states, they will emit very specific colors, wavelengths, lines of light. And we can do two at a time. <laughs> Gotta turn out the light and see if it gets more, the colors are more distinct. Got to be careful here because it's so dark. But here's 
that's our strontium. And here is our copper. I don't know if the color looks any better. And here is our sodium. But keep this color of sodium in mind. We're going to see that again in our next demonstration. But that is line spectra. And turn this off. And that's the end of this video.